Hello everyone. Today we're going to be taking a look at something a little different and um, unique. This is Bone Tacoon. He is part of the Robot Spirits line. He's R053 in the line. He was made by Bandai. came out in 2010. Now this figure is actually from the Foam Metal Panic um, Fomofu. Hopefully I'm saying that right. Um, series, which is season two in the um, Full Metal Panic anime. Very unique character. Never really thought that we'd actually get a fig of the character, but um, I'm glad that Robot Spirits gave this to us because he's absolutely fantastic. Now, I love the fact that on the box here it says AS with a question mark signifying, is this truly an armed slave? Which is really funny. Now, we get to see in the packaging here some of the accessory pieces, which I'll go into more in depth um, after I open up the package here, but Nice little picture of Bontecoon there with his patented shotgun. We got a nice little action pose there. There he is with his M16 with another facial expression. And on the back we get to see more of the facial expressions and different accessory pieces that he comes with. And then we can see that Sosuke Sagra is actually the human being inside of the um, costume character here. Alright, let's take a look at the fig now. Alright, before we get into the fig, I just wanted to showcase on the back. It's kind of unique that instead of just having a solid gray or black piece back there like we usually get with the robot spirit figs we get an actual um, schematic of bone tacoon which is kind of nice and here he is in the clamshell now i'll i'll go more in depth with some of these other um accessory pieces but some of them i'm just not going to um showcase there's some various clips down here which aren't that big of a deal it does come with a hand grenade baton different little um paw like um, hands I guess or whatever you want to call them so you don't have to have the actual holes you just have them um, normal I guess Sosuke's head different facial um, expressions this kind of like sweat or expressive mark he comes with a handgun his um, shotgun and M16 very cool alright let's get him out of the alright here's Bone Tacoon out of the packaging now before I get into the actual um, review here real quick backstory of the character Sosuke Saga, which is this guy right here, is the main character in the Full Metal Panic series. He's the bodyguard to Konami Chittery. She goes out on a date to this amusement park. She gets into some trouble. He's not supposed to be following her, but he's there anyways. He finds this guy wearing a Bontacoon suit. He takes it from him, gets in there, saves the day, beats up these um, Yakuza thugs, whatnot. Realizes that he really likes the suit and wants to um, turn it into an arm slave, I guess. And... Um, pretty much market it as a urban combat suit to like local law enforcement or security agencies whatnot but unfortunately he could never get the voice recognition to actually work properly so every time he'd be in the suit and he'd talk he would say fumo or fumofu or some type of combination of the um of those um phrases but this is a spot-on representation of what we see actually in the show i mean just the way he looks to the um dots on the costume to the scar on his cheek um, just a great job done by Bandai and because it is a robot spirits fig we have a ton of articulation even though you would think it'd be hindered by this you know hard plastic um, costume right here but he still has a nice range of motion you have motion in the arms right here you can go back and forth at the shoulder in and out he can rotate around 360 degrees he's got a um, bicep swivel he's got an elbow joint ball joint at the legs and at the ankles so it is hindered but you can still move his leg in and out forward and back um, rotate his ankle around heads on a ball joint so even though it is hindered a little bit you can you know move him up and down very sweet now his accessory pieces let's go over some of those first one here Sosuke's favorite weapon of choice is the shotgun and I love what Bandai did with the um, weapons and the accessories. Not only giving us really nice detail on them, they kind of made them um, actually function, it seemed like. We actually have the nice pump action feature, which is cool. His handgun here. Very nicely detailed. And it also has a um, slide. That's pretty cool. His M16 actually has a removable clip with a painted round in there. Nice touch. And then we have some nice details with his hand grenade here. And baton. Very, very sweet. Now, does come with 
some other facial expressions. So you have this, it looks like he's got his angry face on. You also have kind of the worried kind of look. And then the kind of close the eyes, I can't believe what you just said type of look, I guess. And to change out the um, faces, you're just gonna pop off the head, remove the face. And what's also really unique is the fact that it has this kind of like computer monitor area, which it does come with stickers and each set is different picture wise, which is really nice. You just pop on the new one and then put the head back on or the hat back on and there you go. And as far as weapons, you can, um, they have these little pegs here and you can just plug them into the front of the hands. And he does come with a, another pair of paws, whatever you want to call this hand or whatnot that don't have the holes. So if you don't want to have that, right there you can do that too and again give him his shotgun which is nice but a really cool accessory piece is the fact that he comes with this i guess expressive little sweat mark or whatever you want to call it which is really cool and the fact that you um it's got a magnet so you can put it anywhere on his face which I thought was a really cool idea by Bandai. So now he's got that worried look like he's just about to, he got in trouble with Konami and she's just about to smack him or something. So really nice. Now the last little accessory piece is actually Sosuke's head. So what you can do here is just pop off his head, take off his neck piece, and it just plugs right in like so. Kind of weird looking because it looks like he's squatted in there, but it's a nice little added touch to have Sosuke there. Unfortunately, you can't, you know, there's no movement actually in the head, but not too bad. Very sweet fig. If you are a fan of the Full Metal Panic series and especially the um, Fumufu series, definitely worth um, picking up. But I will be doing the um, arm slaves from the series, so I'll be doing the Arbalist, the Venom, Falk, and. Um, Mao's Gernsback and Kurtz's Gernsback arm sleeve. So stay tuned for those. So this has just been a quick look at the Robot Spirits 053 Bontekun Fig. Thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned for more. Take care, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.